In this next animation, we'll take a closer look at the El Reno EF3 and focus on this event from a storm chasing perspective. The tornado developed at 6.03 p.m. and took on a southeast course initially, which set the stage for a chase where most were primarily focused on getting out of the way rather than pursuing the tornado. Many chasers who set up east or southeast, conventionally a safe location on a northeast moving storm and tornado, found themselves in the path with the need to get out of the way. The tornado changed course several times during its life, and this motion caught many unaware since the tornado was often rain-wrapped and its direction not readily apparent. As the tornado approached US-81, it became exponentially more dangerous to those in its path. The tornado accelerated to 55 miles an hour and doubled its size, expanding to over 2 miles in less than 1 minute. Those in the path at this point had only a fraction of the time available to escape than they did a few minutes prior. At US-81, the tornado also made a significant left turn. Due to low visibility, this change in course was not apparent to many chasers and put those who were chasing north of the tornado in mortal peril. As the tornado approached Interstate 40, its forward motion stalled and it actually did a small loop. The tornado was almost completely rain-wrapped at this point and a deadly, nearly invisible threat to those traveling along the interstate. One thing you may notice in this animation is that the tornado's center is often not in the center of the circle indicating its size. This circle is only a rough approximation of the tornado's size and shape at a given time since the tornado was actually asymmetrical and had a complex shape due to the dynamic wind field that comprised it. The tornado dissipated at 6.43 p.m.